So I've been an Apple Watch person ever since the original one came out in 2015, and even before the Apple Watch came out, I was really excited about the prospect of Apple making a smartwatch. I've actually done a few Leaks Rumors episodes on the Apple Watch about a few years before it even came out. And I've used my Apple Watch every single day since it came out in 2015, uh, basically everywhere, in seawater, shower, everywhere, uh, and I've used every single Apple Watch model as well, so Series 0, 1, 2, and 3. I didn't keep up, I didn't keep my Series 3 because the changes weren't as big as the Series 2 changes were from the Series 0, but now we have a new Apple Watch that just came out, and that's the Series 4. But this is Apple's fourth watch, the Series 4, and this one as well, I have two, and I've been using these over the past 48 hours, and... It turns out that they're actually much better than I initially expected. So get that popcorn ready, those snacks, because this is going to be one interesting video. My 48 hour experience, my 48 hour review of the Apple Watch Series 4. Okay, so the first thing that immediately caught my attention in terms of the Series 4 was actually the box itself. So instead of that long uh, box that the previous aluminum models came in, and also that more premium plastic and microfiber box that the previous stainless steel models came in, we now get the exact same box model for both. But the unboxing experience is actually pretty unique, so you just open up those two seals on the sides, and the box literally opens up like a flower. A very unique unboxing experience, I have to say. We then get the matching image of the Apple Watch that's included inside, so space black and gold in my cases, and then we also get the exact same accessories as before, so charging cable, which on the stainless steel steel models has the steel frame and the steel back in order to give it a more premium feel and then we also get a traveler charger the travel adapter with those retractable feeds for the UK model I'm really not sure why Apple isn't including this with basically the iPhones as well with every single iPhone because this thing is such a great accessory to have but what's really interesting is that now instead of getting the band already attached to the watch like before we actually get it in its own separate box which seems to be the actual retail box for these bands and now we also get a watch in its own microfiber pouch which is actually unique to every color of the watch that you get. So Apple has actually downgraded the unboxing experience on the stainless steel models of the Apple Watch but made it a bit more fun at the same time with an interesting box design and that microfiber pouch as well. Now fun fact uh, when you insert a band on the Apple Watch it actually turns itself on. I was quite surprised to see this. Now in terms of the watch itself the first thing that I've noticed straight away was the speed. So having used the Series 2 for basically the past two years, wow, this thing basically flies. So switching between watch faces is now done instantly, whereas on the Series 2 there was always a considerable lag. And same applies, for example, when starting a workout. Take a look at this. So on the Series 2 I had to wait like 30 seconds or so until the app was usable, whereas on the Series 4 it's basically immediately usable. So the speed alone makes me want to use the Apple Watch Series 4 way more than before, and a lot of the times, for example, when I wanted to do something on my Series 2, uh, you know, sending a text, navigating maps, and so on, I kind of avoided doing that just because of how slow everything was. Uh, you know, it was always quicker to just take my iPhone out of the pocket and do it there. But now with the Apple S4 processor, which fun fact is actually the first 64-bit processor in an Apple Watch, everything is done in an instant and it just makes me want to use the Apple Watch even more than before. We also have Bluetooth 5.0 versus 4.0 and 4.2 on a Series 3. Now this basically means that if you have an iPhone 10 and newer, which also comes with Bluetooth 5.0, all notifications would actually arrive quicker, updates would install faster just because of how much extra data Bluetooth 5.0 can push when compared to 4.2 and 4.0. There's also a few other welcome changes changes that I've noticed straight away with the Series 4. So, for example, the fire, the water, the dust watch faces on the Series 2, they're actually a circle, whereas on the Series 4, they occupy the entire watch face, which combined with those really thin bezels, significantly thinner than before, uh, this basically makes the whole experience incredibly immersive. And then we have the new infographic watch face, which is by far my favorite watch face on pretty much any uh, Apple Watch until until now, by a long shot. So the sheer amount of data that you can have displayed here is just insane. I've always had to constantly switch between a work watch face and a fitness slash workouts watch face uh, because, you know, I needed separate data on, on both. But now I can have all of that and just a single watch face and even more with the infographics watch face now. And then a few other big changes that I've noticed straight away for me personally was Siri. So I didn't get... Series 3, the Series 3 Apple Watch before, so having Siri always listening is a great addition. And also with WatchOS 5 now, you can just raise your wrist and you can immediately talk to Siri, uh, no need for saying, you know, that hey keyword, which is so much more intuitive and so much more, so much faster and useful than before. And then we have the crown. So the red dot is now a red ring on a Series 4, much less intrusive than before. And the biggest change in terms of the crown is that it now supports haptic feedback. So when you're turning the crown, you'll actually feel it vibrates 
it's a bit hard to explain, but for example, if you have an iPhone 7 or newer with that haptic engine, uh, when you go into the alarm clock, for example, and you scroll, your iPhone would give you the haptic feedback, the haptic sensation of actually, of actually scrolling through a gear for example. So yeah, it's very, very similar to that. It is a bit hard to explain, but once you start using it, you'll absolutely love it. And among with this, the whole vibration or haptic feedback throughout the OS has been improved as well. So everything feels so, so much better now. And then the microphone and speaker got some big upgrades. So the speaker, for example, is now really, really loud for a smartwatch. It's actually louder than some budget phones, which is crazy. And I've now had a few phone calls on the Series 4, and no one that I was talking to could actually tell that I wasn't speaking from, from a phone, that I was literally just using a smartwatch. So pretty good speaker and an even better microphone than before. And there are also some big case differences as well right now. So not only is the Series 4 much thinner than the Series 2 was, uh, but it's also lighter. And then the heart rate sensor area on the back, that's now thinner as well. So the entire watch fits closer to your wrist and feels so much better than before, much more comfortable than the Series 3 and 2 and even 1 was. In case you're wondering, I was actually able to use all of my previous bands with a Series 4. Um, and they're not shorter or anything, they actually fit basically the same as they did before. Now, I didn't notice that some of the old bands, they had a bit of a tighter fit, whereas the new ones, they fit much, much easier uh, than the old ones. And then the heart rate sensor has also been redesigned with a Series 4, so it's now faster, more accurate, and then if you live in the US, you'll actually get access to the ECG meter, which would launch later this year. Um, I managed to find some details on this, by the way, from Apple, and apparently all models of the Apple Watch Series 4, all of them featured ECG hardware, uh, even those sold outside the US, but only the US ones have it approved for use. So up until, you know, up until they actually get approved everywhere else, the functionality is disabled through software anywhere else. And then I should also probably mention how amazing this gold looks like. So uh, Apple has always tried to make a perfect gold that's not actual gold. You know, they had the aluminum, the gold aluminum Apple Watch, and also the gold, the gold iPhones before. But since this one is made out of stainless steel and it's only brushed or anodized uh, stainless steel, I don't know, it looks so much more authentic, so much more realistic, and it really resembles the gold Apple Watch that, you know, Apple used to sell for like 17 or $21,000. So yeah, finally, Apple got the gold right with a Series 4 and also the new iPhones 2018. Okay, so in the end, 48 hours with the Apple Watch Series 4, what are my actual first impressions? Well, I think that having a watch that does anything you want in an instant, for me personally, it makes me want to use it even more than before. And add all this to add this to all of the other improvements, such as a larger display, always on Siri, the improved speaker, the improved microphone, the improved cellular connection, the improved heart rate monitor, and much more. Uh, also, the ECG as well. Uh, well, this is basically the best smartwatch there is, and that's by a long shot. I mean, at the moment, Apple is basically in a league of its own when it comes to smartwatches, just as they are when it comes to iPads. I'm really hoping that Google does launch a Google uh, Pixel Watch soon, next month. But until then, I'll keep using my Series 4, not a gold one, uh, the space black one. So the gold one I just got for this video, basically. Uh, I'll try the LTE capability since this is actually my first LTE watch. So I'll keep testing the battery life, which up until now has been absolutely insane. Uh, but yeah, stay tuned for the full, for an even more in-depth full review coming in a few weeks once I get to spend more time with these. But yeah, definitely subscribe and enable notifications if you're new to the channel by tapping on that bell icon so that you get notified as soon as a new in-depth video comes out. Stay tuned for the full zone of the camera comparisons which are coming out this week. Definitely subscribe and enable notifications for those. And let me know in the comments what you guys think about the Series 4 so far. Do you think it's worth it over the previous generation or do you think it's another small change? Honestly, it's not. So yeah, let me know what Apple Watch uh, model do you have, for example. And also don't forget to join the zone. Simply tap that join button or the first link in the description and you get access to some pretty cool exclusive perks while also supporting the channel. But yeah, this has been pretty much it. Definitely stay tuned for the speed tests, better drain tests, and also the camera comparisons of the iPhone XS and some other interesting smartphones as well. And yeah, I'll keep using this and I'll let you guys know what my final thoughts, thoughts are on 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 this in a few weeks. But yeah, thank you for watching. I'm Daniel, and I'll see you guys in my next one.